Hello there and welcome back to Let's Play Two Worlds 2. I'm the RN Genius, but you may call me Eric, and in the last episode we entered the Tower of Fang and we made it our life. For what purpose? What purpose did we have for entering the Tower of Fang? Our purpose in entering uh, 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 with entering the Tower of Fang was not alchemy the love the art of love and death. No. No. There. We cannot open Ganhar's journal, but we got it. We got Ganhar's journal. We're not supposed to talk to Guterrias. We are supposed to head straight for the Prophet, aren't we? We're getting farther away. And closer again. And mucho closer. Okay, that's exactly where we're headed. Tell me about it. Tell me what you found. Managed my way up the Tower of Fangs. Found Gandar's journal. I think it's some kind of code. Yes, this is exactly what we need. To know one's enemy is paramount. Take it. I'm sure you'll be able to get more out of it than me. A gracious gift. You could have brought it to one of my enemies. I accept this as a token of your loyalty. I think it should be clear by now whose side I'm on. Providence favors the righteous few. Meet me in my chambers. We have much to discuss. Do we now? Find Kisara in her chambers. Uh, is that here? Because it didn't actually give me... Yeah, there is only one quest we have to do. Elm El Zorna. 39 meters. Ah, that is here. That is here. Are the chambers on this level? Yes. You I... may have done us a greater favor than you know. Meaning? Our benevolent emperors developed a new kind of magic based on old techniques of the dark arts thought to be long lost. Much of his rise to power has been predicated on this discovery. I always knew it was more than politics. For what? And he plans to use it again. This text is rich, but useful information is meager. Most of it pertains to the life of a young man scantly resembling the tyrant familiar to you and I. I suggest you have a look. Care to just give me the rundown? Very well. Gandahar attended Vinificus University in New Ashos during the period we now associate with the formation of the Swallows. A lifeless wasteland created by an... What are you suggesting? Our next journey you should start stubborn, there. This is the best lead you're likely to find. I suggest you take it. Sorry. I just don't see how we can afford to waste time like this while Gandahar prepares my sister for a blood sacrifice. If we don't understand the source of his power, your sister's life will be forfeit, as will your own. You're not his equal. Not yet. You think I could wield this power too? No. Gandahar's meddling has caused enough suffering already. But if you understand... I'll do what I can. Mm. Like, I really don't understand, I don't really enjoy the conversations with Kisara so much. Simply because we, oh, eight kilometers. Wow, who, who, how do we get there? I need to find someone who has information about Gandahar and the item he used to perform the experiment detailed. New Ashos will be best place to start searching. How do I get there? How do I get there? Oh, you closed your chambers on me. That place is locked, because it's probably where the the place Darfa is staying in. How in the world do I get where I need to go? I mean, it's pretty clear that we need to get here, but, 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 oh, why do we have a teleporter there? No questions asked. Uh, this teleporter is quicker to reach, so we'll teleport right over there. But I would like to speak with uh, 
that and from the Mages Guild first, and then we'll check for quests on the bulletin board there as well. Because, um, actually the... Come on, get me back. What the reputations log says is we are quite um, respected by the Society Mages Guild by now. Thought to be trustworthy for minor issues. Well, that's not what I was expecting there, but that's okay. Let me teleport to Daten. I hope his name is Dad, and I really do. Where I want to go is right there. Okay, let's enter again. Because we did not have, actually have a talk. As far as he knows, we might as well be dead. Customer satisfaction is not what I'm looking for right now. What I'm looking for is overpowered sorceries and stuff of that nature. No new quests? That's fair enough. Oh, what I should actually do is sell all my inventory, my, my shit. That's not gonna be sold. I'm gonna sell these, I'm gonna sell all these. No, no. Sell, sell, sell. This is going to be a very, very... Uh, not lucrative, because I'm not selling it to the people that actually give me the most money for it. But it's going to be worth. Because I, I'm... This is crowding my inventory. You not using you. This is skirmish boots. This is skirmish armor. Skirmish Greaves. Skirmish Helmet. I don't have those equipped either. So those, those, those. Okay, get back to that equipment set. Now I can sell these. This as well. These little daggers, the bows, and then we're already done. Already. Already. Okay, perfect. What do you have to say to this? There is no one here to say anything. Teleporter has been deactivated. That's just awesome. I guess we're gonna have to go to the Veritas cave then. Or I don't know where Daten is otherwise. Hate it when that happens. Okay, let's try and use that teleporter platform to get to where I need to be. This is Forgotten Temple Ruins. This is Tara Fangs. Nope, not where I want to be. Where I want to be is here. A little over to the right there. The Cave of Crystal Golems. That's where I last saw them. There. Enter that and talk to him. He's got to be in here, right? Are these Veritas golems still there? They are. Interesting. You know, just as a matter of fact, are those enemies? Definitely does not look like it. They are just for show. Otherwise, we would have had a little problem right now. Let's get going. We are, we are almost up to a level up, too. I wonder if there's any more quests around. And I feel kind of off to not tell him about my success, but I guess we don't have much of a choice right now, do we? Let us get to a new island, and that looks a little bigger than the one we were just on. New Ashos. Hey, watch it. Trying to crack my skull? Relax, I didn't see you. 
Ah, new in town, are you? Here for the new semester? No, not a student. Do you know many of them? Yeah, a good deal. My name is David. How can I help you? My pleasure. I'm looking for information on a student who would have attended Vinificus University around two decades ago. <laughs> good luck. That's an awfully long time. Perhaps try asking the professors. Although, from what I hear, their office hours get very... crowded. Perfect. One of them has to remember him. And perhaps. Mages do have exceedingly good memories. You see, I myself attend night class at the university. And they know everybody by name. I might be able to connect you with the right people. For the right price. What are you looking for? A small favor. I need a package retrieved nearby. I'd go there myself, but there are... extenuating circumstances. Do this for me, and I'll help you any way I can. It's a deal. So, um... The architecture in this area is quite... Eastern. This is not what I was expecting when I went to hey. New Ashos. The style of clothing is, in fact, quite Eastern, to say the least. What are you offering? You are pretty much offering the same junk that everybody else was. Let's increase his weight capacity by 30. How powerful. For the moment, I don't need anything, though. Who are you? You look special. Sir, kind sir. Looking for work? Always. <laughs> oh, excellent. You look like a hard worker. I'm Pluvia, sole proprietor of Umbrella Heaven, New Asho's finest purveyor of parasols, fashionable rain gear, and protection from the elements year-round. Sounds like a lucrative business. <laughs> you have no idea. Magic may keep some people dry, but the rest of us have to do what we can. The umbrella is the most useful invention since the telescopic lens. I wonder. And yet most people don't even know it exists. That's why I'm out here, in public, promoting my product. It's not always easy. In fact, right now I have need of some under-the-table employment. A contract position, if you will. What's the job? Promise not to laugh. It's very serious. One of my products ate a customer. Ooh, come again. A curse, or a hex of some kind, I can't say. I'm unversed in magic. But somehow one of my devices has taken a taste for human flesh. <laughs> I've burned the rest of the stock and a new shipment will arrive next week. But if I don't get this situation under control, my company will be ruined. You're asking me to kill a man-eating umbrella? Yes! <laughs> oh, Yathalin, help me. You must think I'm a crazy old crone. I assure you, my faculties are all here. I have a theory that the Merchants Guild in Hatmandor, where the stock originates, is out to get me. They keep affiliations in the dark arts, those men, and they hate the fact that their precious industry has been breached by a woman. Please, check on my other customers. I'll pay you handsomely. This would be a first for me. <laughs> Wonderful. Mr. Oro Av, the famous ornithologist, will be your first assignment. Please visit his home and make sure he's all right. I will sure Is there certainly a do that. Cause for concern? Did he buy one of the defective products? <laughs> he's a regular customer. The other is Professor Heimer. Actually, perhaps you should check on him first. Of the two, he's the one more likely to get hurt in a fight. Chance of death. Mediocre pay, helpless ingrates. Mm. Count me in. <laughs> Come find me in my shop when you've made your rounds. Visit Professor Heimer's house. That's that's just awesome. Really enjoy where this is going. Man eating umbrellas. I had a thing for those. I've always had a thing for those. Soul pan. Are you alright? You look like a woman. Excuse me, miss. Uh, everything all right? My name is Soul Pan. And I'm not all right. 
Anything I can do to lift your spirits? You may be good at playing the gentleman, but you have nothing to offer that can help me. Unless you know how to raise the dead. Well... You'll have to excuse me. I didn't know. I'm sorry for your loss. It was many years ago, during the creation of the Swallows. Dear Tal was a student at the university, when everything was destroyed, reducing the old campus to dust and ruin. He went missing. Many lives were assumed lost, including his. That's awful. Were you close? He was my lover. I've long since put it behind me. But we never truly end our mourning for those we've loved and lost. And just yesterday, they found a body which fits his description. Although under strange circumstances. Needless to say, it hasn't been easy as of late. From my understanding, the creation of the Swallows happened 20 years ago. How did they identify him? The body was still fresh. Which means, either the rot never set in, or he never died. He was wearing a bracelet I gave him as an anniversary present when he died. As grave robbing is a veritable industry in New Ashos, I find it hard to believe he was ever buried. The only possibility is that he survived all this time and failed to contact me. That must be hard for you. Well, yes. Of course it's possible he survived and has been living all these years in silence. I never saw them put him in the ground. But if he did, that could only mean one thing. That he became one of the scavengers. I refuse to believe he simply fell out of love with me. The scavengers? The untouchables that live outside the city? Considered by most to be peasant thieves. You really think he joined them? They don't just live outside the city. They live in the swallows themselves. Their very bodies brim with the same filth that pollutes that place. They are monsters not fit to be called men. You'd recognize one if he passed you in the streets. They have a very distinct look. Not that that would happen. They're forbidden from entering the city. Wouldn't he at least try to write? Perhaps. Perhaps not. He's just as dead now as he was to me 15 years ago. What does it matter? If only I had that bracelet, then... Then maybe I could bury him for good. I can get it for you. That would be most generous. I haven't done anything for you. But if you're offering... His body's at the edge of the river where he was found. In the jungle outside the city. The city watchmen have a policy of not touching the bodies of any they suspect of coming into contact with the swallows. For fear of infection. He can't have moved. I'll get Deertal's bracelet for you, so... Can you tell me more about how the Swallows were formed? Centric to the Swallows is the old university, which is said to be the source of the corruption. Rumor has it that a dangerous new kind of magic was released in a botched experiment, and that is what created the Swallows and ended so many lives. What kind of magic? Nobody knows. Something very potent. Probably an ancient branch of the dark arts. Forgotten for good reason. Tell me more about the Swallows. Good luck. Nobody goes there but the Scavengers. And they're a reclusive lot. Old maps of the area can't be trusted either. The ground shifted and split up in the time of creation. What animals survived are said to have become like demons. What do these scavengers look like? Frightening. That's all I know. They're rarely seen by anybody, much less decent folk. They mostly stay in their camp, 
except to venture to the city walls to trade information for basic necessities. Apparently, they make excellent spies. Very quiet. I should be going. Thank you for listening. Yeah, you've got to thank me. That was quite the speech you gave me there a second ago, Soul Pan. Also, like, that's a that's a very, very loyal woman if she's in love with him for 15 years after he still is, like, he was suspect, suspected dead. And now that his dead body shows up 15 years later, she's, like, down again. That's incredible. Incredible. Like, nothing I've ever seen or heard of. For the moment, we were supposed to do protect a sir from a man-eating umbrella. Don't tell me you're David. What? No, I'm here to pick something up. You ain't getting crap. I know he's around here someplace. I think you should give me the packet before someone gets hurt. What? That guy shorted me 500 auras. What is he, your lover? How's this? You give me the package, and I let you live. Threaten me? I'll break your goddamn kneecaps! Are you sure? Are you sure? Don't do this. Don't do this. Uh, okay. Are you really certain you want to do this? Interesting. Whoa! Cool move. We've got all those skills now! Well... David's packet, Executioner's Blade. I don't think it was a particularly smart decision to kill this guy. But we ended up doing so anyways. This was not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do the Umbrella quest. In Asho's Adventure. Dead Lover. Exclusive Umbrellas. There you go. That's more like it. That Umbrella quest is, at least is very interesting. And we don't want to do the main quests if there's still side quests around, right? Not now. Um. What? Where's the dude? This is not what I'd call an umbrella, by the way. I, I don't know what's going on here, but this is this is like everything but not an umbrella. Also, they did not mention that he had three of them. It's safe. Talk to Oro Ave. Did these guys drop anything? No, it does, definitely does not look like it. Now I can tell them it's safe because it actually is. Uh, who am I supposed to talk to? Those those umbrella heads also looked awfully like like um dragons, if you ask me. That's my alarm. I have to get over here. What do you have for me? This is not where I'm supposed to go, right? That's soul. We are supposed to go in doing? here. Get what? out of here! I'm looking for Oro Ave. Does he still live here? You can't just barge in here like this. I said get out! I have to warn him about something. Warn him? About what? This is going to sound a little strange, but... He recently bought a dangerous item from a vendor who's hired me to perform the recall. Can you tell me where he is? <sighs> Bird watching. There's an exhibition. The one day out of the year I don't have to clean up their shit. Thank the gods. Next time, don't come here uninvited. These are unusual circumstances. So what's this item you're so worried about? <laughs> An umbrella. 
<laughs> it's a device you hold over your head to shield off the rain. This one seems to be defective. Where is this exhibition? Sounds like you might need one where you're going. Otherwise, have fun picking their dung out of your hair. Those damn things. H here's the address. Thank you, you're a very nice woman. You can go now. Very eastern way of sitting down, too. I couldn't do that. It hurts sitting in that position. Have you ever tried it? Probably not. Miss me? Dead birds everywhere. Kill the animated umbrella. Oh, God. How is that an umbrella, man? Luvia. Don't Stop. you identify yourself? I'm a friend. What's going on here? A terrible curse has been loosed upon me, birds. It's that freak umbrella. From what Pluvia told me, it sounds like we're dealing with some pretty sinister black magic here. You're lucky to be alive. Yes, well, I don't see how ranting about it does us any good. You're welcome. My thanks. But you'll understand if I'm not in the friendliest of modes. Especially if you're admitting you work for that witch. The nerve she could have to send one of her thugs after what she pulled. It wasn't her fault. Bluvia didn't know her product was defective. I'm sure she'll compensate you for your trouble, if you ask. Deliver the news! We get parrot eggs for killing those. That's nice, uh, for, for, uh, well, you know, there was a vulture here. I really enjoy all the loot. I'm probably not allowed to, p to uh, pick that log either, though. All those guys escaped. Maybe now I am. Yeah. Yeah, pretty good. Do I get better loot in this area? Uh, it does not look like it. Hate to break it to you, Eric. Does not look like it. Okay, what do we have in here? Very interesting place. Just a place to loot there. Healing potion. Might as well loot this dresser as well then. There, there, there. Okay. Spell amulet and a potion. <laughs> I don't think breaking into that log was worth that trouble. Uh, uh, break it, getting that. Well, those items. Let's get out of here, though. For the moment, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope I will see you in the next episode as well. I'll probably end the recording session here. I know, not the most, you know, vile, the, the biggest recording session I've ever done. I feel kind of weird, but I'm also very tired. So, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope I will see you in the next episode as well. Until then, bye-bye!